puppy, where's your brother? We're going to check out his DNA results, honey bunny. No? You just want me to slap your butt? All right. You like being a drum? Can you purr any louder? <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jasmine, and today is finally the day. It's finally here where I'm sharing with you the DNA results that I got for Alfred, and we can once and for all see how they compare to the DNA results of his brother, Puppy. If you are new here, I have two cats. They are Puppy and Alfred, and Puppy I've had for about five five or six years and he's 11 years old and Alfred just joined the family about a year and a half ago almost and he just turned six. Needless to say, they look like they could have been from the same litter, but they are not related whatsoever. Now, if you've been around these parts for a couple of years, then you might recall that I got puppy his DNA test through Base Paws, which is the first and only company offering cat DNA tests to at-home consumers. And I got Puppy his test right after they came out. So I want to say it was 2017 or 2018. It's been a couple of years. And in that first video, I showed you guys how I got Puppy's sample to send in to Base Paws, and I spoke more about Base Paws as a company and what they're about. And since that initial video, I've put out two more. The next one was about Puppy's actual DNA results that I got when it came to his breed. And then I put out a follow-up results video because Base Paws modified the report for Puppy. And actually, whenever you send your cat sample, you might want to check the reports every so often because the more samples that Base Paws gets, the more detailed that your report will kind of modify and change to when it comes to your own cat. And if you want to see Puppy's preliminary report, then I'll make sure to link that and the other videos and anything that I talk about today in the description below. I will also leave a link to Base Paws if you want to check them out and get your kitty a DNA cat kit. And when I reached out to them again and asked if we could do something special for the Cat Lady Fitness family and for anybody who is watching this video because I let them know that I was going to put out this comparison, very anticipated video about Puppy and Alfred. They were kind enough to reactivate our special coupon code, but for just a couple of weeks, I will put the expiration down in the comments and in the description because right now as I'm filming this, I'm not exactly sure, but it will be active when this video goes up and that coupon code is CATLADYFIT. Using this code is going to get you $10 off a DNA cat kit if you decide to get one for your feline fur baby and it's only for a short amount of time. So if you want to try this out and of course if you do please share your results below once you get them. Thank you to Base Paws for offering up that coupon code. I don't get anything from it but I just wanted to make sure that if you guys want to join this fun DNA cat stuff party, then you can do so with a little bit of a discount. Okay, let's not waste any more time here. I have my computer right in front of me and we are going to finally check out these results together. And first, I want to look at Alfred's. So I already signed in two base paws and here you can see that I have um, Alfred with a very flattering picture that is in fact his full name in case you missed my video entitled Meet Alfred. And then we have Puppy who does not like the paparazzi. I think I just want to look at Alfred's report first before we actually compare them because for all I know Puppy's is probably changed a little bit since I last checked it, which is honestly over a year ago when I did, whenever I put that last video out. So let's just click on report for Alfred and see what is happening here. And by the way, all of this stuff, I go over their website and the steps to take and all of that in detail in the previous videos. So again, if you want to learn more about the company, about what it entails to get the samples and all that. You can check out the, the videos about puppies DNA test 
once you're done with this one. But whatever. Let's see Alfred's results. Okay. Alfredo Dogecini de Mostrare. Genetic report. So this is all the same. I mentioned all of this in my last video where we went over puppy stuff. But you'll see, we will see a summary. The breed report, which is exciting. Breed groups, similar breeds. Health marker report, which actually wasn't ready and wasn't available yet in the first video that I got for puppy. Health markers, health and wellness. Okay, let's take a look. Well, this is already exciting in the summary. It says that Alfred is not a carrier at risk or at high risk for any mutations. Very, very exciting. Breed groups. The following shows the breed group composition of your cat's genome. The breeds shown below each breed group represent the top breed most similar to your cat in each breed group. 39.3% Siberian. That's not surprising when it comes to his coat and, and his type of hair. Oh, Peter Bald. 12.7% exotic. 6.5% from what I remember, and we'll look in a minute, I think puppy was mostly closest to the Egyptian meow, I'm pretty sure, but we'll we'll see in a minute. Persian, 11.2%, and when it comes to wildcats, ooh, look at him go. He's closest to a cheetah, cougar is second, leopard is third, tiger is fourth. And this just tells you how to interpret the breeds. It gives a lot of information to make it easy to understand and easy to read this report. For me, I got this mostly for fun with puppy, but I got it for Alfred to compare with puppy. So ultimately still mostly for fun. If anything, the thing I was most interested in was the health markers, but it wasn't concerning in my case. I mean, they're very healthy boys. They eat their raw food diet every time they go to the vet. They are some of the healthiest kitties that my vet says he's seen. Most of us, it's just like for poops and giggles, you know? It's just something fun to do. Unless, of course, you have serious concerns with your cat's health markers, then this can be really, really beneficial and a good piece of information that perhaps you can even take to your vet and ask what they think about it. Okay, let's go to his breed groups. Look at this. So this is just showing the genomic composition of the breed groups. And it says our genetic analysis looks for regions on your cat's chromosomes that are most similar to individual groups of purebred cats. All right, let's take a look at Alfred's breed list. These are ranked from highest to lowest similarity in Alfred. So Western, he got Siberian, followed by Norwegian forest cat. Abyssinian, this is what puppy, you know what? We're going to open up puppies report as well and we'll just hop back and forth from window to window. Let's check out puppies summary real quick. Health markers, perfect. No mutations found in any of the categories. So that's great. And we can already see the difference. See, this is weird. This is where I'm like, do I believe this? Because I could swear. And I, I think a couple of you guys have also mentioned that Alfred seems like he has a lot of Berman in him. And I agree. I would think so too, from his coat to his temperament, all of it. We're going to compare them back to back now. I've switched up the strategy. So here we go. This is Alfred's. This is puppies. 40.3%, so Western, followed by 14.8% Eastern. Alfred, 39.3% Western, 12. Okay. So we can already kind of see the differences. Bengal, yep. I totally see Bengal in puppies sometimes. And then for wildcats, puppy got cheetah, cougar, leopard, tiger. Oh, wait, isn't that the same? Cheetah, cougar, leopard. Yeah, I guess so. This has really changed a lot just like in the past year since I checked for puppy's initial one. Okay, so now let's scroll on down to the breed list. Okay, so Alfred got first Siberian, next Norwegian forest cat, third Abyssinian. Puppy got Norwegian forest cat, American short hair, Siberian, Abyssinian. This has changed so much. And then he got Russian blue ragdoll Maine Coon. See, this is so strange. I swear, I would expect for Alfred to have ragdoll and Berman at the top, uh, but he does not. They are kind of at the, the lower end. So let's take a look at Eastern. Alfred got Peter Bald, Berman, Oriental Shorthair Burmese. Puppy got Berman. This is, I feel like these are backwards. They're not. I'm looking at them properly, but puppy got Berman first, Oriental short hair second, Burmese, and then Peterbald. 
This is interesting. Exotic. Puppy got Bengal, Savannah, Egyptian male. Alfred got Egyptian male, Bengal, Savannah. They are not cut from the same cloth at all, I think suffice to say. This is Alfred, exotic short hair, Himalayan, Persian, British short hair. Puppy, British short hair, Himalayan, Persian, exotic short hair. I swear. Okay, this is what I mean. This is what I mean when I always tell you guys that they look very, very similar, but their temperament and their personalities are almost complete polar opposites. And this does explain that in the sense that their results are, are nothing is similar thus far. Well, except the wildcats. But what I'm finding really strange about it is I feel like their results are like puppy should have Alfred's results and Alfred should have, have puppy's results. So it's kind of throwing me for a loop. But ultimately, what is this going to change? I mean, nothing. It's just very interesting information. And here is where it tells you more about the particular breeds. So let's just, for a quick example, let's just say, let's just go to personality. Siberians are friendly and social cats, always looking for companionship. They get along great with other animals and children. They're brave, independent, yet easygoing and affectionate. There are claims that these cats can sense when someone is in need of moral support and will provide company to the respective person. These playful and intelligent kitties enjoy playing with various toys and are quick to learn a trick or two. That sounds like puppy. I'm not saying that Alfred's a complete derp, you know what I mean, but he's high on the scale. Now, puppy got Norwegian forest cat first, so let's just take a quick look at the personality. Norwegian forest cats are friendly, social, and independent. They have a calm temperament and will usually get along well with children and other pets. While they highly appreciate the company of their favorite humans, they do so on their own terms. They can be lap cats, but tend to be very picky and fussy as to whose laps that they sit. These kittens love to explore, and their strong claws make them excellent climbers. A scratching post or tall cat And they couldn't have mixed up their results. I know some of you are like, what if they mixed up? They couldn't have mixed up their results because I just sent Alfred's the end of last year and puppies was in what, 2017, 2018. So let's move on to the Eastern cats. Puppy got Berman, which sounds like Alfred and Alfred got Peter Bald, which these felines are famous for their dog-like loyal demeanor towards their favorite humans. Let's let's carry on here. Egyptian male, Alfred, vocal, adventurous, uniquely a water lover. The Egyptian male is athletic breed that requires an engaging environment. Puppy got the Bengal. If you're looking for a cuddly cat that will purr and snuggle its days away in your lap, then a Bengal is not for you. These cats, although friendly and devoted companions, are exceptionally curious, energetic, agile, constantly on the move with confidence and flair. Bengals are considered to be highly intelligent and are known to naturally retrieve toys during a game of fetch. Alfred got exotic short hair. He was more similar than 79.93% of all other cats in their database. The exotic short hair is a very gentle and calm kitty. Okay, let's just stop. I trust base paws and I trust what this is, but. And puppy, British short hair. Puppy was more similar than 79.98% of all other cats in their database. This dignified breed is famous for its easygoing and patient temperament. Okay, that sounds appropriate. Although these cats are very affectionate, they don't make particularly good lap cats and do not appreciate being picked up or carried around. This British short hair is sweet natured and can make a great companion for anyone seeking a low maintenance cat. Okay, that kind of sounds like puppy. You know what this is telling me? This is telling me that I want you guys to get one of these tests of your own. Use Cat Lady Fit for $10 off, at least for the next couple of weeks, just so they can increase their database to make it more accurate, perhaps. Let's get to the health marker reports. Okay, so they test for all kinds of things. Polycystic kidney disease, which is very, very common. Cardiomyopathy, hypertrophic, retinal degeneration, mucopolysaccharidosis. Can't believe I got that one the first time. Gangliosidosis, cystinuria, which is also very, very common. Porphyria, or is it porphyria? Factor seven deficiency, manosidosis, myotonia, 
hypothyroidism. I have a video about this. It's very, very common in cats and it's super interesting where it could potentially be derived from. I'll link that video in the description below. Vitamin D deficiency, Neiman pick disease, hypokalemic periodic paralysis, autoimmune, lymphoproliferative syndrome, pyruvate kinase deficiency of erythrocyte, or maybe it's erythrocyte. That's what they test for. And thank goodness that is what puppy and Alfred got all clear for, all of it. So good news there. And then to conclude the report, FacePods gives you a little health and wellness blurb with tips that you can do to make sure your cat stays healthy. And they also include summaries on the rest of the breeds, including the overviews, the origins, the predispositions that they might have genetically. And all in all, it's a bunch of really interesting information. So yeah, it looks like we have just confirmed that Puppy and Alfred really are not related whatsoever. And the only part that really surprised me about all of this is the fact that they got the results that I would have thought the opposite would have gotten. Oh, hello, puppy. That's going to get stuck in the lip gloss. You want to come over here. You want to talk, we're talking about your brother and we're comparing your, your, okay. We're comparing your DNA results, babe. Clearly, I don't think th these results are, are going to affect our lives much, but it was still a fun ride, wasn't it? That was pretty interesting. I'm curious to know what you guys think about these results. If you've gotten a Base Paws DNA cat kit for yourself or your feline fur baby, remember if you haven't and you wanna get $10 off, then just click on the link that I will put below and I'll also put it in the first pinned comment of this video and use the coupon code CATLADYFIT for $10 off. If you liked this video or found it interesting or helpful, then please do click that thumbs up below because that helps me know the content that you like to see. And if you're not a part of the Cat Lady Fitness family already, then please make sure to click that subscribe button below here on YouTube as well as that little bell icon that's right next to it so that you can be sure you get notified whenever new videos go up. And this is every cat or day as well as fun things sprinkled in throughout the week that have to do with cat stuff and feline nutrition, especially raw cat food, things for humans, like stress management tips, workouts, recipes, and fragrance review videos, and honestly, whatever else I feel like posting. And if you're watching this on Facebook, make sure to like and follow our page, Cat Lady Fitness, because the same things go up over there, as well as fun pictures of the boys and things, which I'm sure many of you seem to really enjoy and appreciate. All right, guys, this isn't Alfred. It's my OG boy with his purry purry self. Let's see if he can get some FaceTime. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And we will see you in the next video. Bye. Where are you going? You want to go to the window or you want to go to the wall? I'm not going to say the next part. Let's go see if your brother wants us, us to tell all his secrets here. Let's see. What's this? Puppy, you're drooling all over the place, honey. I love you, but I, I can't. You just want attention right now. You like the weirdest things, puppy. Yes, you do. Hi, honey. What do you want? Are you happy? I can't kiss you because then I'll have like fur lips. Okay, well, it doesn't make a difference, does it? Okay, you're just getting your drool all over it. Oh, God. Bye.